Hi, I'm Rick Kepler. And I'm Mark Durbin. This video is going to take us to Big Bear Village. And this scene you're looking at right here looks west, down Village Drive in 2018. And if you were standing in the same spot about 100 years ago, this is what the village looked like. If you notice that dark building over on the left, it was one of the first buildings to be built in the village. Well, that's what we're going to talk about. This was the Big Bear Pavilion, and it was built in 1918 by Fred Skinner and Ed Mitchell, and it was located on the south side of Village Drive at the uh, Bartlett intersection. And this place was the happening place in the village. Uh, during the day, they conducted tours around the valley, and at night, they held dances and concerts. And you know what? I can't imagine what those dances and concerts were like because uh, there was no electric at the time when this building was first built. Those lamps hanging in front of the building there are gas lamps. For years, the uh, pavilion was the place to go, but it got outdated very, very quick. And as the village started to go, it was replaced with a more modern building. This structure here is seen in the 1940s. And over the years, besides being a dance hall, it's held concerts, it's been a theater, it's been a gathering place. It was even a duplex movie theater. And it still exists today. That's right, it's a popular event center. Next door to the old pavilion, this is what we have here today. And this is what you would have seen in 1920. This huge building was the Grizzly Theater built by Frank Johnson in 1920. This Grizzly Theater was the uh, only theater in the, in the whole Big Bear Valley at the time. And there's an interesting story that was told by Beatrice Petter, um, which is recognized as Big Bear's very first historian. She said when this building was built, that the seats didn't make it up in time for the grand opening. So in addition to buying a ticket, you had to bring your own seats or something to sit on. And um, but everybody was so excited about having a theater in town, they really didn't care. Another fascinating thing about this building, it was a bonfire waiting to happen. It was beautifully decorated, but with extremely combustible materials. From what I understand, in uh, June 1941, somebody must have lit a match, because that building went up like a Roman candle. Actually, work was being done in the projection room when the fire broke out. The fire spread very quickly. By the time the volunteer fire department responded, the structure was fully involved. You know, after the Grizzly Theater burned, it was not rebuilt and the property sat empty for many years. But directly on the west side of it, next door to it, there was another theater that was built, and it was called the Village Theater. That theater was built to modern fire codes and building codes. However, in 1968, it suffered the same fate as the Grizzly Theater. We're going to end this video with just a few shots that shows how this section of Village Drive evolved over the years, beginning with the Big Bear Pavilion, built in 1918. By the uh, early 1920s, the uh, Grizzly Theater had been built, and uh, you can see the Big Bear Pavilion still in the background. By 1940, this area was beginning to look like this. The pavilion is behind the trees in the background, and the uh, Grizzly Theater is on the right. Later in the 1940s, we see the pavilion in the background. Next door to it, the Grizzly Theater is now gone. However, on the right, the new Village Theater has been constructed. Finally, in 2018, this is what it looks like today. The pavilion is still at the far end of the street, in the middle would have been the Grizzly Theater, and over on the far right is where the Village Theater once existed.